All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And on today's video, I will be giving you the recap of the BYU Texas game that was played on October the 28th of 2023. And that's coming up right after this. All right, everyone. Yes, today is November the 10th. It's a Friday. And it's been, yeah, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. Um, tell you the truth, I was on a 15-day cruise. And yeah, the internet was okay. I, just to be honest with you, I took some time off from filming. Um, I wanted to decompress and stuff like that. My plan was to do... A recap of this video and the West Virginia video but I kind of um, wanted to decompress and things like that I did the Texas Tech video on the cruise ship but after that I kind of wanted to decompress and get away from things but I am doing a video on the Texas review and how to be what you do against the seventh ranked Texas Longhorns. All right, and so, yes, I did stream this game on the cruise ship. They did not have it on TV for some reason. I know, it sucks. They had NFL, but not college that week. No BYU-Texas game. So, we streamed it. The internet was good. You know, we, we could stream the game without a problem at all. And so, let's go over the stats really quick. First downs, BYU had 17. Texas had 16. Passing yards, 197 for BYU, 170 for Texas. So, so far it's looking good for BYU. Rushing yards, 95 yards. Texas, 184. Total yards is 292 for BYU. Texas, 354 total yards. Penalties, BYU had three for 20, six for 40. Turnovers, BYU had three, and Texas had two. The time of possession was 33 minutes and six seconds for BYU, and 26 minutes and 54 seconds for Texas. All right, and so the final score of that game was BYU was six, Texas Longhorns was 35. So the Longhorns held BYU to only six points, which was two field goals. Yes, two field goals. So this, he threw two picks during that game and he fumbled the ball. So he was, the three turnovers were all on the quarterback. So here are my views. Okay, this is totally my views, my opinions, and things like that. So don't take it into context and say, he, that's not what he's talking about. Okay, I, this is my opinion. All right, so BYU allowed a punt to be returned for a TD. What the heck? And those two picks that Solvis threw, they had some big returns. And BYU had, they had plenty of opportunities to put points up on the board, but that didn't happen. The running game is still having issues. Not sure if they're going to get that fixed anytime soon. But yeah, they are still having issues. The quarterback, Solvis, he has to either stand in the pocket, look at the receivers, or do something with his legs, because it's killing us right now. And while they're in the red zones, BYU has to convert on those drives in order to stay competitive. Let's break down a couple things here. So Texas Longhorns, they are moving on to the SEC, the Southeastern Conference, next year in 2024. And so right now, they are in the hunt for their last big 12 championship. They are doing really super good so far this year. Yes, they've lost to Oklahoma, and that was a big upset. I mean, that was um, a good rivalry between those two. Those two will be going to the SEC in 2024. And so... This is the last chance that Texas might have at getting a championship in the next couple years. Yeah, they might surprise everyone and go into the SEC and kick some major butt and become the SEC champs. But 
I don't, I'm not sure if that will happen because Georgia, Alabama, you know, Missouri, they got some great schools over there in that conference. So Texas has something to prove here. And so far, they handled BYU hands down. 35 to 6. Yeah, 35 to 6. That was not a very good game for the Cougars. So the Cougars next week, they travel to West Virginia. Yes, I am in my house right now doing a video. I already know the score of that game. But yeah, they travel to West Virginia and that is where BYU will face them at on, it was on FS1, but since the World Series got over, uh, which was the least watched World Series in a long time, Fox uh, moved it from FS1, Fox Sports 1, to Fox. That will be a good game, we hope. <laughs> I already know the outcome of that one, so. Um, but yes, my opinion, armrest, lazy boy, sleeping in a cabin on a balcony, I, I don't know. BYU's got to figure something out. They've got to do better. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe making a change at quarterback will spark him. Maybe trying to figure out the offensive line, trying to get that running game going. Because right now, that's not doing anything. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this late, late recap of Texas. And until the next one, which will probably be on Saturday, the 11th of November. Um, come back to that one. I really appreciate it. And until the next video, I will see you later. And remember, let's go Cougs. All right, guys. Bye.